Mike, what's on your shelf today? Well, today we've got the Fender catalog from July the 20th, 1957. If you come over this way, we've got the 1957 Fender Stratocaster to match. I mean, what's incredible about this catalogue is, all right, yeah, the instruments are amazing. You know, not a lot has changed in, 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 in you know, the past 70 years. But, but largely, a lot of these end or Cs, the, the original pioneers of the Stratocaster and Telecaster, some have largely been forgotten now. I mean, barely you recognise their names. We take this guy, Buddy Merrill. He was, like, one of the first Stratocaster players. And he, he opened up a show called the Lawrence Welk Show, which sort of went out every day. You can hear his playing on that, and he opened up the show. And uh, he was one of the first guitarists to, to, to use it as a lead instrument. I mean, he'd be backed by this big band, so literally he'd be standing there with his deadpan expression, motionless pretty much, just burning the guitar, I mean, with a massive sort of huge Django Reinhardt influence. And behind him you'd have this big, big band, you know, kind of supporting him. And yeah, people would look forward every day to him doing something different. And he was an amazing technician, you know, beautiful guitar player. Buddy, swing out on that Fender guitar. Mary Kay, who was the um, first person to have, have, a, have a Fender Stratocaster made specifically for her, and the Mary Kay Strat is, is now one of the most sought after Strats in the world. It's sort of an ash body with, a gold, with gold hardware. And she was, she, was, she was a cool player, but it was, it was more the scene she created. She was a pioneer of, of what they call the Vegas lounge scene. And uh, yeah. I mean, that was the time where you really had to be able to do it. I mean, those performances were so polished, the singers were incredible, and the music was so tight, and she's a great performer. Um, and yeah, you can check her out doing things like Lonesome Road. It's just so entertaining, so good to watch. The Mary Kay Trio sing on their sensational hit record, Lonesome Road. Look down! Look down. Look down that lonesome road before you travel. I am. Look down, look down, look down, look down, look down that lonesome road, road before, before you travel. You travel on. And this guy here, Speedy West, although he, he, was a, he, was, he was a pedal steel player, but he played alongside a guy called, um, called Jimmy Bryant. And Jimmy Bryant was, was, was a very early Telecaster pioneer. And uh, he was billed as the fastest guitarist in America at the time. And uh, you know, you hear his playing on, on tunes like Flying High, so entertaining to watch him play uh, and watch him duel and, and, and just switch solos between each other, really turning up the, turning up the, uh, the pressure on each other and really, you know, incredible playing. Here we go with Jimmy Bryant, Speedy West and Flying High. <laughs> 